Kevin McCarthy warned that U.S. should urgently resolve chaos on the U.S.-Mexico border. Otherwise he warned that terrorists should enter country unnoticed and risk a succumb to an attack. Similar to those in Israel this weekend. McCarthy, who served as spokesperson for House of Representatives until last week, said attack on Washington Free Beacon on Monday should be a wake-up call for White House and Biden administration. He accused Iran of encouraging conspiracy to support it. He pointed out that there are already known terrorists among those who claim to be immigrants. As of July, 160 immigrants whose identities matched those in terrorist screening data set were stopped by Customs and Border Protection on the southern border. According to NBC News reported last month, significant increase compared to 100 immigrants in fiscal year 2022. Fiscal year's end on September 30th. We must wake up. The same thing may happen to us next week, said McCarthy. In February, we caught more people on the terrorist watch list than we caught in the entire administration. We may have cells in America right now. Kevin McCarthy told Washington Free Beacon on Monday that terrorist attack in Israel over weekend should be a warning for United States because terrorists may have sneaked into country from U.S.-Mexican border. Immigrants from Cuba appear crossing Rio Grande near the Texas Eagle Pass on Friday it seems that long immigrant tales, mostly from Venezuela, are waiting to enter the U.S. on shores of Rio Grande on October 5. An armed Palestinian militant is seen wandering at the Supernova Music Festival near Kibbutz Reem. In the Negev desert in southern Israel, Israelis were heard shouting, running and rushing into cars while trying to escape an armed Palestinian militant leads a man at the Supernova Music Festival Palestinians transport an Israeli civilian from Kibbutz Kefar Aza to the Gaza Strip, which was seized on Saturday the FBI said on Monday that it does not have specific and reliable intelligence that indicates a threat to the United States from Hamas attacks in Israel. However, the organization added that it closely monitors the situation shares relevant information with our state, local, federal and international law enforcement, intelligence internal security partners. The FBI added we will not hesitate to properly adjust our security stance to protect the American people. But McCarthy, Biden accused his administration of being indifferent and said there was a direct line between U.S. government's $6 billion released for Iran and Iran's allies' weekend attacks in exchange for the release of U.S. citizens held in country. The Biden administration spent the weekend denying that Tehran's money frozen in South Korean bank accounts had something to do with the Hamas attack. Israel described the weekend as September 11 because no one had seen it coming. As in al-Qaeda's attacks on the United States, McCarthy said the comparison was correct and there should be a